Hey guys, this is Airsoft101.99 and today I'm bringing you my first video and it's a review on the Condor Modular Operator Plate Carrier in the ACU style and so I'm just going to be going over it, pros and cons uh, why, in my, what stuff in my opinion, you know just the normal but since this is my first video I'm just going to be telling you what this channel is going to be about uh, I'm going to be doing games that I play in here. Like, uh, if I go to an airsoft game, I'm going to use my camera as a sight because of the mask I'm using. I'm going to make a review on it later to show you guys, but can't really look well, so I'm designing a sight that also holds my camera so I can re record games. But let's get on to the review. So, this is the plate carrier made by Condor. It's a uh, on evite.com for sixty two ninety nine. I got this from my friend. He uh, gave it to me because I kind of just started out recently. I've been playing for a while, but not like in competitively. So since I'm starting to play competitively, I'll need a plate carrier or chest rig. So he just gave me this one. He had it lying around. He wanted to get rid of it too. So let's start out. This is a take on the interceptor body armor that the military uses today that takes uh, the actual plate either ceramic or steel you can use ceramic plates on this but I really wouldn't recommend steel because these straps they aren't well off for it like they could be a lot wider they should be a lot wider and they should take some more padding but they don't uh, you could fit a ceramic plate in here but I, my friend, when he worked on it, he used these cardboard plates that he made. Uh, this is the front one. I cut out the corner so you can put the gun right there. Uh, this is the back plate. In the plate carrier he uses now, he has wooden plates, but I don't really think I'm actually going to use the plates he made because it's hard to shoulder your weapon with it. But let's continue on. Right here you see I have uh, three magazine pouches. I have a high cap and a mid cap in there. And I have another high cap to go right here and a high cap to go on the gun. But as you can see, it's molly straps, like molly webbing. And here's the thing about the molly webbing on this gun. Uh, like, let's see, this one right here, this little molly strap, is bigger than this one. Uh, they kind of got sewn separately, which isn't that good. Uh, so it makes it tougher to slide your molly web through in some other, more than others. But uh, I don't have any Velcro patches right here, but name tape's going to go right here. American flag, maybe. Uh, identification pouch. Uh, for built-in pouches, you have this map pouch right here. Hold on. It's a matte pouch. Let me just get this in the camera. Right here. It's a, You put your map in it or keys or whatever type of thing you need to carry. And it has a button closer and a hook and loop Velcro system. So on the back, just more molly webbing. Yeah, that should be a good view. Uh, more molly webbing, emergency pull handle, let's say someone falls to the ground, actually gets hurt, you can pull them. Uh, the straps right here, they aren't padded that well, but they're well enough off that you can use them in an airsoft game without too much problems. They tend to slide forward a bit if you don't have it strapped down right. I think, as you can see, this one's farther back than this one. So, let's move on. If you flip it over and you look on the inside, you pull back this Velcro strap. Sorry, I'm just trying to adjust this tripod. Okay, so you see right here, this is where you'd put the plates in. And it has a big strap right here. Not really sure what that strap's for. Probably slide the plate into. But you have one right there, you have one in the back for the back portion of it. And then 
to get to put it on, you take this little cord right here, and you pull off on it, and as you see, it's a huge Velcro patch right here. Uh, more molly on the inside and what it has on the inside right here is a buckle and clip you put it on you slip it on over your head you clip back up you lift up this pouch if you if it fell down you lift it up and you strap this piece of velcro in but uh do that you pull this back down and you'll be all good but on the inside of each uh, molly strap you have a pouch right here now this pouch could be good for putting your wallet in your license keys whatever you don't want to put in your pocket and have it fall out or leave it in your bag because you think people might go through your bag while you're playing um, it has one on the other side too same thing with the strap the buckle but overall I like this uh, rig so far I don't have much more pouches I don't have any more pouches to see how many you can fit on but my friend when he uses when he used this one he would run 12 mags off of it I'm not sure if he did that by using more molly on the front or molly on the sides but he somehow ran 12 off this Uh, but would I recommend this rig? Yeah, I would. As I said, I wouldn't recommend using plates in it just because it's hard to shoulder the weapon, but it really is good for its price. Uh, I really recommend it. So, stick around for a few more videos. I'm gonna be doing a review of the mask I use, of the gun I use. Uh, tutorial on how to weave the molly in case there's any beginners who needs help with that. But that's about it. Thanks. Subscribe.